So with the last one you just said, my, my colleagues don't listen to me. I would come back and I would say, give me an example of where they don't listen to you, right? So I would say to you, when you do speak, do you look at people when you speak? Do you project your voice? So it's called paralinguistics. Everyone's so focused on what they say, like reading my notes or reading my agenda, reading my agenda, reading my agenda. Welcome to Manosphere Highlights Daily. Shout out to the diary of a CEO for this video. Former Secret Service Special Agent Effie Pomporas dropped some gems that we would like to share with you guys. Let's get it. The other thing is, I say this a lot when I speak to companies because communication is a big thing. Don't just talk to talk. There's this thing out there, and especially with women, where it's like, make sure they hear you. Make sure your voice is heard at the table. I'm fine with that. Do you have something beneficial to say or a value to say? Because if you don't, don't say anything. Half the meetings I go to, I don't speak. Because I maybe I have nothing to say. Effinist told women that running their mouths is a form of strength. Check this out. I am woman, hear me roar. In numbers too big to ignore. Hear me roar. This was the song that made Helen Reddy famous, the marching, stomping anthem of the women's movement. Now, let's look at some of the lyrics. Dennis, read. Oh yes, I am wise, but it's wisdom born of pain. Yes, I've paid the price, but look how much I gained. If I have two, I can do anything. I am strong, I am invincible, I am woman. In 1971, Australian-American artist Helen Reddy belted out these lyrics to celebrate female empowerment during a time when our country was changing. This was during the second wave of effinism. Women rebelled against all traditional norms, and being quiet was no longer valued. Speaking out was considered gold, and silence was silver. The song, I Am Woman, won Helen Reddy a Grammy in 1973. Now pay attention to how Helen Reddy got in trouble for speaking her mind. I only have 10 seconds, so I'd like to thank everyone concerned at Capitol Records. I would like to thank Jeff Wall because he makes my success possible. And I would like to thank God because she makes everything possible. She makes everything possible. She makes everything possible. I didn't really think it through. I mean, now I realize that I said it in Nashville, which is in, you know, right in the heart of the Bible Belt, and it's a wonder I wasn't lynched. 50 years ago, she didn't think about the consequences because she could do anything. She's invincible and roars like a grizzly bear. That's where we have a problem. The focus on the feeling, but not thinking about the consequences. Now can I get a drizzle drizzle? Drizzle drizzle? Drizzle drizzle. Drizzle drizzle. Now check this out. That, I th that's such a brilliant way to say it. Yes. You're probably, yes, it's like it's your score because people keep tabs on you. Yeah. They know. Stephen's gonna say something, he doesn't always speak, but if he's gonna say something, every time he drops something, he drops something of value. Where people think like, I have to talk because everyone tells me I have to talk, make my voice heard. No, shut up. And if you're silent, then you're not of value. That's what people think. They think, right. well, you didn't add anything. Right. Well, you didn't take anything away either. Yes. Women used to be able to get away with many, 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 many things they said, which is why women today have no filter and say the most ridiculous things on social media. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? Bear. Man is scary. Whatever comes out of a man's mouth, reverse it. There is your truth. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Say what you want, but situationships are fun, okay? I said it. They're tormenting, obviously traumatizing. Yes, when I'm at my lowest, I'm also low-key at my highest because I was trying to numb the pain. As I said in another video, most likely you're going to have chemistry with all of them. So it's like, oh, you could be my boyfriend, you could be my boyfriend, you could be my boyfriend, but we are not looking for boyfriends. That's I wild. understand where you're coming from, but I require something different. I, if my man has his own apartment and he's paying out $2,000, I do expect him to pay my rent too. And that's just what I require. So, because men are useless. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> love it. And by the way, I want to I wanna differentiate between straight men and gay men because I think I, I would die without gay men. How in the blue hell can these women expect men to take them seriously? 
These are the same women who will complain when men don't come to their aid. These are the same women who complain when men don't approach them. These are the same women that complain that men don't want to get married anymore. Because when they speak, they are expressing a feeling and the mentality of, I am woman, hear me roar, and don't consider the consequences. <laughs> I, I will tell you this too, Stephen. When I go to meetings, or sometimes I go to meetings, and if I'm the dumbest person in the room, I'm the happiest person. Mm -hmm. That's the one time where I'm happy because I'm thinking, wow, look at all these smart people around me, and I get to be part of this. I get to listen. I love to sit back and listen. There's times I just had a meeting with like my scripted agent, uh, Sylvie, with my manager about some TV project. And I knew enough to know, to say, I, they were like, hey, Evie, this and this. And I said, you know what? This is space I don't know. I'm going to follow your lead. Fill me in. I'm taking a seat back. You guys do the talking. This is extremely hard for the modern woman to do because they've been served that effinist feel-good Kool-Aid for decades. Despite advances in women's rights and opportunities, statistics show that women are more depressed and unhappy now than they were in the 1950s. Why do you think women are burning out, suffering from depression, and accumulating student and credit card debt in record numbers? It's because of the pressures of maintaining the fallacy of being a strong and independent woman. Admitting that men are right and that you need men to function in this world goes against the effinist worldview. Now, what she's going to say next is important. Pay attention. And when you've been disrespected, how do you deal with that? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it back. What have you done to let people think that they can do that to you? That's the first thing I'm going to say. What standards have you created or what things have you set up to let people think, I don't have to deliver on time. I can't be disrespectful. I can't show up late for work. That's the first thing I'm going to say. Because I'm the one who sets the tone. For, I, 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 I just interviewed a chief of station, former chief of station, John Franchi. He's former CIA. And he managed a lot of people and a very strong, a lot of strong personalities because you've got officers and all these and different people. And he said to me, you know what I learned? He said, it is easier to be more, have boundaries and be a little bit more sturdy and more authoritative in the beginning and then pull back than to be everybody's friend and then try to put those boundaries in place. The latter doesn't work. He's like, you do the first, you let people know what you expect of them, and then you can pull back a little bit. But you always have to toe that line. Fellas, don't be a simp jutsu master. Don't practice simp jutsu. Have standards. Nowadays, LQWs, low quality women, are the standard. But that doesn't mean you have to accept that. If you don't take yourself seriously, don't expect anyone else to do so. You're not obligated to save these women from the problems they've created themselves. If they want to poke the bear, let them have their way. Grizzle, grizzle. Just make sure people are truly disrespecting you and that's not your ego that feels disrespected because sometimes people can't take somebody pushing back. And if my goal is to make a great product or business deal or transaction, then everything we do should be in furtherance of that. Man, it's where we work here. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.